golfers teed up at the Lynx of Pine Hill Golf Course in South Memphis Saturday morning. <laughs> right, right, right. However, they weren't just playing for the love of the sport. They were also playing to benefit the Cameron William Selman Scholarship. Because Cameron couldn't fulfill his dreams, our goal is to help our youth um, fulfill their dreams. Cameron was shot and killed in 2015 after a fight broke out on the campus of Tennessee State University. Almost eight years later, his mother, Stacy Payne, is still looking for justice since no arrests have been made in her son's death. Nonetheless, she says she's turned her pain into purpose. You never get over it, but you learn to live through it. So this is how we're living through it, um, with family and friends helping us to help others. Payne started the nonprofit Justice for Cameron Incorporated shortly after his death and has since awarded more than $38,000 in scholarships to students across Shelby County. We have to help our youth. We have to help them understand that they need to silence the violence. And if we can just touch one person, you know, then Cameron didn't die in vain. For four years, Payne says the Golf Classic has assisted her in helping local youth redirect from a path of violence to a path of success. And it means so much to hear from them that they appreciate, you know, our efforts to help them. But she says she wouldn't have been able to do it without the help of local sponsors, such as the Watsons, who say Cameron was like a second son to them. He had a kind heart. Matter of fact, Cameron had a big heart. And uh, we want to give back, right? We want to give back to the, the youth of the city, and we want to do it in Cameron's name. Reporting from South Memphis, Kwame Trewellborn, WREG, New Channel 3.